With every snip, Two, one, Emma Matson is getting more than a foot of her hair cut off. She's happy to see all this hair go, and she's even happier about who is cutting it. She kicked cancer's butt like nobody's business, and um, she's just a huge inspiration to me. So I thought, what a better person than to have her cut my hair. Emma's stylist is her friend Lindsay Nutting, a breast cancer survivor. As someone who's lost my hair, I felt my identity was gone, but then I realized it wasn't. Everyone here at the Beautiful Lengths event is giving at least eight inches of hair. That hair will become a wig for someone battling cancer. This event draws some people back year after year. It just makes us as stylists feel so, so great. It just, it, everyone feels excited and everyone's a little nervous to get their hair cut off. Um, but we can create enthusiastic environments so that everyone feels comfortable to do it in the process. And it just means so much to us. According to Pantene, over 42,000 real hair wigs have been donated to the American Cancer Society Wig Bank from events just like this held here at Keene State. That's 42,000 reasons to smile for cancer patients in the fight of their lives something Lindsay knows about all too well. Just knowing that Emma and all of these girls are helping a cancer patient try and get their lives back on track after, you know, receiving probably some of the most devastating news ever. It's very inspiring. Izzy Harris, KCTV. <laughs> are you Stacy Fortin has a new best friend, Moxie. Stacy wants Moxie to be well socialized and trained. So, when the Monadnock Humane Society started Puppy Play School in August, Stacy jumped at the opportunity. We were one of the first first ones to enroll in their first ever Puppy Play School, and it was it's just been a blessing ever since. Through this program, puppies learn many behavioral skills like sit, down, come, and potty training. Bethany King has been working with the pups since the program first started. I really love getting the opportunity to socialize puppies. It's something that I take really seriously, so I'm very aware of how I'm interacting with the puppies all day long. This program is an opportunity for puppies to become socialized with exposure to different people, objects, textures, and sounds. It creates better pets and better pet owners. The puppies that come from puppy play school tend to play better with other dogs and listen and, and know their basic commands because we're reinforcing those with the families. They're learning how to, how to manage the puppies. Experts say puppy play school also reduces the odds an adopted dog will get returned to the shelter. The more you can socialize the puppies now in a positive way, um, the more well-rounded they're going to be. So the likelihood of them having to be rehomed because of some behavioral problems like reactivity around other dogs or being overly fearful or shy really helps diminish that. Moxie is now a graduate of the Puppy Play School, and her pet parent, Stacy is thankful for what Moxie learned in training. The socialization, learning the cues when a dog doesn't want to play, when he does want to play, how do you engage, all of those things. That started from the first week she was in the puppy play school and it continues on now on the doggy daycare side. Trainers say bringing dogs here to puppy play school is a small investment of time that can pay off with a lifetime full of rewards with a well-socialized, well-trained dog. Izzy Harris, KCTV. Volunteers from all over Keene came together at the Source to Sea cleanup to remove trash from local water. On Friday, Volunteers put their gloves on and tackled the Ashwheelit River. Some of them even got in kayaks and went down to collect trash out of the river itself. Anthony Malloy says the work he's doing today will have an impact for years to come. I mean, what we have on this planet for water is what we have on this planet, so be foolish not to take care of it or protect it and keep it clean for future generations and everything. Amanda Littleton has been organizing this event for 10 years and says you need the community's help to maintain clean waters. We do this every year because it's a great way for people to connect with their community, the river here, their landscape, and be able to contribute and chip in. Coordinator Michael August says he is proud to take care of the area and keep Keene clean. The source to sea cleanup has been going on now for a while, and each year I see it growing and getting a little more organized and a little, little bit more uh, enthusiastic, and we're getting newer names every year that we can add onto the list. So if it's growing, it's good, I think.
And all these nearly 40 volunteers picked up 1,500 pounds of trash, just like this, in the Ashwelet River and Beaver Brook. Izzy Harris, KSETV. Coming up on KSETV, we'll update you on House Bill 372. It's the latest legislation targeting voter eligibility in New Hampshire. We're also taking you over to Stonewall Farm to show you how the staff takes care of their livestock during the dead of winter. Those stories and more are next on KSETV News. Good evening and welcome to the March 1st edition of KSETV News. I'm Izzy Harris. A recent House bill introduced this past January may make it harder for New Hampshire students to register to vote. KSETV Sarah Schufelt tells us why. Republicans backing the bill say they are seeking to return public trust to the electoral process. Democrats opposing the bill say it's an attempt to create a poll tax in New Hampshire. Students and community members in Keene are organizing demonstrations, marches, and public forums about school safety and gun violence. The Sentinel reports this is in response to the mass shooting at a high school in Parkland, Florida last month. One Keene High student is organizing a March for Our Lives on March 24th. It will begin at Central Square in downtown Keene at 10 a.m. Students, educators, and anyone supporting the call for more gun control legislation is invited to take part. Some school districts around the nation have threatened to suspend students who take part in walkouts to protest gun violence. That has high school students wor worried that their, that their political action might threaten their admission to college. Keene State is one of dozens of colleges to issue a statement to the contrary. KSC administrators have posted to Facebook and Twitter that participation in peaceful demonstrations will not have a negative impact on any student's application. Keene State College is offering free lectures to the Keene community. The new Open College series at KSC invites community members to participate in a free monthly presentation on campus. The series was created by KSC history professor Nicholas Germana to build a bridge between campus and the community. The class takes place in Rhodes Hall every third Wednesday of the month at 6.30 in the evening. Coming up after the break, we'll take a look at how Keene State is receiving some national publicity. Keene State College has released the 2018 Outstanding Woman of New Hampshire winners. The winners are U.S. Representative Ann Custer, KSC Professor Patricia Pedroza Gonzalez, Franklin Pierce University Assistant Dean of Student Affairs and Retention Jill Bassett, and KSC students Pooja Thapa and Benajil Rai. This year's winners are being recognized for their contributions to gender equality. The awards will be, will be presented on March 5th. Winters are hard, but they can be especially hard on animals. KSC TV's Paul Lucas reports on how Stonewall Farm staff takes care of their livestock during the winter. Even with warmer weather around the corner, the workers at the farm are always ready. Find out more after the break about a special award a Keene Police Lieutenant received. Keene Police Lieutenant Steve Tinney has been honored as a hero by the Boston Celtics. Tinney recently received the Heroes Among Us Award from the team. The Keene Sentinel reports Tinney received the award for donating, donating part of his liver to save a baby's life. The award is given to outstanding people who have made exceptional and lasting contributions to their communities. That's all for this edition of KSC TV. Thanks for tuning in.